Meta has launched a new super intelligence lab led by top tier AI experts like former Scale AI CEO Alexander Wang and ex GitHub CEO Nat Friedman. And just weeks after that announcement, they've already dropped a paper that's shaking up the entire field. The team behind Meta Super Intelligence Labs, along with researchers from the National University of Singapore and Rice University, has unveiled something remarkable. It's called Refrag, Rethinking Rag-Based Decoding. And oh boy, this one is wild. <laughs> you see, Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, is the secret sauce that lets language models pull real-world knowledge into their answers. It's how they remember, reason, and sound so smart. But it's also what slows them down. Every question brings a flood of retrieved text, thousands of tokens, and the model has to read them all, line by line, word by word. That's billions of computations all happening just to find the few sentences that actually matter. The rest? Wasted compute, wasted memory, wasted time. What if our models could read more data, reason deeper, and yet respond 30 times faster? That's exactly what Refrag does. It re-engineers how LLMs read. Instead of drowning in thousands of tokens, the model learns to compress, sense, and expand information. Refrag introduces a brilliant trick. Instead of giving the decoder all those tokens, it gives it summaries, pre-computed chunk embeddings. Imagine shrinking each paragraph into a single, dense thought. These embeddings come from a lightweight encoder like Roberta and are projected into the decoder's token space. Only a few crucial chunks are expanded back into full tokens when needed. That's the compress, sense, expand cycle. And it works like magic. With this, the model's effective input length shrinks dramatically. Attention complexity? <laughs> yeah, that used to be ouch quadratic in tokens. Now, it's easy quadratic in chunks. The future of attention just got smoother. For a 16-fold compression, Refrag cuts the time to first token by about 16 times with cash and 8 times without. At 32-fold compression, it reaches 30 times faster than a standard llama. And that's not cherry-picked. Across multiple long-context tasks, the paper reports no increase in perplexity. That's 3 and 3 quarter times faster than the previous best method, CEPE. The gains come mostly from reducing the pre-fill sequence the part where the model reads the prompt before generating anything. That's where it gets even smarter. Refrag adds a small reinforcement learning policy that decides, chunk by chunk, which ones to keep uncompressed. It's like an attention filter that says, this part looks vital, keep it, and that paragraph? Compress it, we'll survive. The reward signal is simple, negative perplexity. Lower perplexity means the model understood better. Using this policy, the model dynamically balances cost and fidelity. Teaching a decoder to understand compressed embeddings isn't easy. So the authors used a clever curriculum. First, the encoder learns to reconstruct original tokens from compressed chunks. Decoder frozen. Then, they continue pre-training with next paragraph prediction to align both modules. Finally, they fine-tune on real tasks like RAG, multi-turn conversations, and long document summarization. This staged recipe is essential. Without it, performance collapses. In Retrieval Augmented Generation Benchmarks, Refrag performs as well as Llama under strong retrievers and even better under weak retrievers, the messy, realistic case. Why? Because with the same latency, it can include more retrieved passages. In multi-turn dialogue, it holds longer histories without truncation, and in summarization, it achieves higher ROUGE scores using fewer tokens. 
even at 16-fold compression, it beats Sepe by about 9% in perplexity, all while being massively faster. Accuracy up, latency down. It shines when retrieved passages are independent, like in web search. If your data are tightly interlinked, such as a single source code file or a mathematical proof, compression might hide important dependencies. And at extreme compression rates, say 64 to 1, quality starts to drop. Still, within 8 to 32 times compression, it's remarkably stable. So, today we explored Refrag from Meta Superintelligence Labs. Do you think this could be the future? Let me know in the comments. And hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.